Hey kitties, Mama's back and with a brand new express lesson and review. So here we are, the final part of my Barbie series. Please ignore the state of my t-shirt. I did go to see the Barbie movie and had some wines and then fell asleep in it. Oh well. If you want to learn how to do this fun and easy look using all Mecca Max, then stay tuned. As this is a full face of Mecca Max cosmetics, I am wearing the Life Proof Foundation and Concealer, the Life Proof Tinted Setting Powder, the Off Duty Contour Stick with the Sunlit Powder Bronzer and the Who Me Matte Lipstick. I've got to say, the cream and powder bronzer sitch, I think I need to start doing that more often. For highlighter, I did cheat. I am using my all time favorite highlighter, which is Mecca Cosmetica. And lighted lip from within. It has been my favorite for like seven years. So let's jump into it. Mecca Max dropped 10 new exciting shades of their single eyeshadows. I'm a big fan. I have almost all of them. Today, we're going to use six of the new shades to create this 80s party Barbie inspired look. I mean, how Barbie are these colors? From the top, we have Double Jinx, Flossy, Nada, as we said it in the 90s, Chillax, Mom Jeans, because apparently we're in America, and So Fly. We kept it super simple today because my eyes have decided they don't want to cooperate. They're a little bit teary and emotional. Another reason why I decided to go with Mecca Max, I have not been excited for an eyeshadow shade in years. Like I have every color you could imagine. This flossy shade, I don't know what it is about it. I've worn it so much since I've gotten it. This shade, this one, this excites me. No one's done something like it. It's a purple, it's a pink. It changes as a blush, it's kind of purpley. As an eyeshadow on me, it goes really pink. I love it. So let's just jump straight into the tutorial. The base of any of my looks in my personal life is always a Mecca Zoom shadow stick. So going in with teal, we're going to line the waterline, the lower lash line, fill in the lid and then blend it out. Now after that, we're gonna go in with my favorite flossy. We're gonna set the shape of that transitional shade. Now taking Nada, we're gonna go into the crease and really give it some brightness and depth and then follow that all the way under the lash line. You'll notice with these two pink shades, it starts to create that purpley kind of smoke that we're really aiming for in this final look. So then taking mom jeans, we're going to add a counterbalance to that ombre from teal into the pink. We're gonna go into the inner part of the eye just to differentiate between the pink and the blue and the green and to really marry them all together. And then we're gonna follow that mom jeans through into the inner part of the under eye. Now these shadows are super pigmented as you saw on my hand, but I personally always like to go in with a mixing medium on the lid. Adding a mixing medium and then going in with chillax on the inner part of the lid, so fly on the outer, and then blending them together to create that perfect ombre. I mean, don't they just look lovely together? So 80s. Then taking the ever popular double jinx, hit that brow bone and that inner corner. But always remember, after applying your brow bone highlight, go in and marry your transition shade and your highlight. Now here's where we get to have some fun. We've laid it all down, go in, and start building on those shapes. Add a bit more blue, add a bit more green. I took So Fly and turned it into more of a smoke just to make it a little bit softer. And after all that's done, apply the rest of your face and bam. Now that wasn't so hard, was it kitties? Thank you for joining me once again. And remember, mm -hmm. mommy loves you.